now to integrate the approving banner ads in your app make sure that you have first initialized the sdk and if you have not make sure that you first watch our previous video which will be linked in the description now on your approving dashboard you have to first create a banner ad unit id for the app which you are integrating so go to max and then add units create a unit and I will give it a uh, name this is going to be example banner and then select the platform and the app the app for which you are creating this ad unit so this is the app and then choose the format and then save it The next thing we are going to do is to add the internet permission and the add ID permission. To get the add ID permission, you can just search it on Google. Also, we need uh, go to now go to mediation docs. Then select Android, and we shall add also this dependency. And then we sync our project once that is done now let's proceed to creating banner add, add unit so go to your main activity and create a frame layout with these attributes they set the width to match parent and the height to wrap content give it an id of your choice and give it a position for me i'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen then the next thing is to initialize this frame layout okay next let's go back to the documentation and select add formats then banners i will use the there's we have two options for loading and showing banners programmatically and also loading and showing banners in layout editor but for me i prefer using this one of loading and showing banners programmatically so let's copy this whole method And paste it outside of the onCreate method. Remove this bracket and create a max add view object up here. And let's call it add view like this. And now 
set the listener to make sure that this one works you have to implement the max add listener max add view listener this the next thing you have to do is create a resource file go to layout um, to rest folder then values and create a, a new values resource file name it at, at attrs and click ok then we have to paste in this code then also we need a background color for our add view from this case I'm going to use get resources dot get color and I pass in the color ID for black add with color black you can use any color of your choice as the background for your add view then the next thing we need to add here is the add unit id so yeah we'll paste in the add unit id from our dashboard but before that let's create uh the tablet banner height so in your rest folder create a folder for this So in race, right click and click new Android resource directory. Resource type should be values and the name paste this and now you can create a new file, values resource file. So target name and directory name should be this the file name is as usual attributes click ok and then this this code Now let's bring our add unit ID from the approving dashboard. So this is the example banner we created. Copy that and paste it. Now this should be all. Let's run our app and see. But before that, let's call this method here. Once the SDK is initialized, create banner add. Yeah, now you see the ad is showing and I hope this works but we are seeing as uh, we implemented it to show at the bottom of the screen but it's showing up here so if you want it to be at the bottom we have to add it to our frame layout so for that delete this code and then we shall use frame layout at add view and then we pass in the add, add view object then let's run our app again
and now you see the the ad is showing in the place where we want it so this is how you integrate the banner ads and if you want to get the real ads not the test ads just have to turn off the test mode in the dashboard go to max test mode and you can just get the device and click here to turn off the test mode and select yes okay that's it and in the next video we shall see how to integrate the full screen interstitial ads